Hey guys, Tim with TB Ministries. The teaching of, of this week is based off Colossians 3.16, where Paul says, let the word of Christ dwell within you richly. Okay, the word of Christ. Now, something that changed my life, I'll never forget this. You guys know I went to Bethel School, Supernatural School of Ministry, and the heavenly man came to speak to us. Some of you don't know who that is? Google him, look him up, get his autobiography. It'll change your life. And the heavenly man was basically a missionary in China who memorized large chunks and portions of the Bible, basically because there were no Bibles. And he got imprisoned and, and, and just whipped and, and just been in some bad things because of the gospel's sake. But he said this, and I'll never forget it. He said, you need to have two Bibles. You need to have one here, and he was holding up a Bible. And then he said, one in here, and he pointed to his heart. So some of you guys know I fire off a lot of scripture when I teach, because, man, there's something about getting the word of God in you um, that changes everything. And I heard Curry Blake, a, a great healing minister, say, you know your mind is renewed when you think Bible. See, a lot of times, guys, we, we want to think, well, what does the Bible say? But if you have to go look at what the Bible says in the midst of an attack from the enemy, you're probably not going to be able to make it. We know Jesus showed us how to do spiritual warfare. It is written. It is written. It is written. He used the word to fight. The word is the sword of the spirit, according to Hebrews 4.12 and Ephesians 6. It is the only piece of armor that we have. Okay, Paul says to stand firm with the shield of faith, the belt of truth, the chest plate of righteousness, helmet of salvation, the, the, your feet ready with the gospel of peace, but take upon the sword of the Spirit, okay? Because that's what we use to take every thought captive and to bring it to obedience to the knowledge of Christ. Because the Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty for pulling down strongholds. See, right now I'm just throwing out these scriptures that I meditated on and studied for spiritual warfare because it's a big deal, guys, to have this thing in your heart. Because a lot of times we don't carry the Bible around, and a lot of times we just don't have a reality of, of what the Word says about us and what we can actually be. And, you know, the Bible says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my Word will never pass away. Okay, that we know, man, that the written Word is the Holy Scriptures, man. God breathed these through, through men, through the prophets of old, and uh, it, there's just power in it. There's power in it. So I encourage you, man, instead of trying to read a bunch of the Bible, Take a step back. Maybe get one or two verses. You know, the last teaching I shared on 2 Timothy 1.7. Man, just meditate on that. Open it up in the Greek and just meditate on those words. And I promise you, you'll start seeing more fruit if you pull back and take your time rather than trying to read a bunch um, really fast. Okay, this is a big deal, guys. It's one of the reasons God's used me the way he has. And 1 Peter, I believe it's um, chapter 2 or chapter 3, it says, be, be able to give an account for the hope that, for the hope that which you have believed. And I got saved into apologetics, and basically that's a scripture a lot of the apologetics use, like Ravi Zacharias and Lee Strobel, okay, to understand that when someone comes to talk to you, that you can actually give an exegetical account of why you believe in Jesus. Not your testimony being saved, but actually open up the scriptures and show why Jesus is who we claim to be. Because Jesus didn't just came to be a prophet, he claimed to be God. And that's why in John chapter 8, Jesus said, why do you, on um, um, what miracles do you try to stone me? And they said, we don't stone you because of the miracles you do, but you, a mere man, claim to be God. Okay, so man, get the word in, you guys. It is, it is your lifeline. It is, it is your source. Holy Spirit's job is just to enlighten it to your hearts, okay? The Bible doesn't take place of, of, it's not Father, Son, and Holy Bible. It's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but the word is what brings it all to life. Okay, guys, I hope you're blessed by this. Get in the word. Even right now, I pray that there's be an impartation to just hunger for the word, to memorize scripture, that the Holy Spirit would quicken these to you right now in the name of Jesus, and that you'd have more thrilling times with the author of the Bible, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God, that he would breathe these words of life fresh to you like never before. See you again, guys.